Rebecca Brown and today we're going to make lemon cupcakes with lemon batter and lemon icing. And let me tell you what's in them. We start with flour, sugar, baking powder, vanilla extract, sour cream, eggs, butter, and lemon zest. Now that's just in the batter. Then we have our frosting made up with lemon zest again, lemon juice, powdered sugar, heavy whipping cream, and then I top it off with even more whipped cream. Let's get started. I've devised a very quick method to make cake batter. It's a dump and go method. I'm dumping in one and a half cups of flour, one cup sugar, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Let's give that a mix. Good. Now we're gonna add one half cup of butter. Now I'm just gonna break that up in little pieces as it goes in. And now I'm gonna add my two eggs. Now, I know a lot of you say, hey, you're taking a big chance cracking those eggs with that shell in that mix. And you know what? I do take a chance, but I tell you about one in 30 comes out with a shell. So there you have it. I'm okay with it. I go for the odds. So now we're gonna add our one half cup sour cream to that and our zest. That's the zest of one lemon. And the last step is that one teaspoon vanilla. Give that a mix of medium. And don't over mix it, you're done. This cupcake recipe is light, but it's not a lemon pound cake. Beautiful, that's what it should look like. I've pre-lined a cupcake pan with simple little cupcake papers. I'm using a scoop and the reason is, this is a very good trick because they're all the exact same quantity which makes them cook really evenly. This batter is exactly enough for 12 cupcakes. So scrape your bowl. Okay, it's ready to go in the oven. Well, while those cupcakes are baking, let's make our frosting. The easiest way to juice a lemon in a simple home kitchen is just with a fork, the lemon, and going through a strainer. You do not need all those fancy appliances. And you might be wearing some of your lemon along the way. That's what's fun about cooking. You always get a little surprise like that. So here we go. This is what makes these cupcakes so very special because of all the sweetness with that tang and tart of that lemon. This little lemon, this size, was about mm, one quarter, almost one quarter cup of juice. Now let's zest. I got my lemon from the garden and a zesting tool. Any kind is fine. Now you just gotta make sure you do not get your white stuff. That's the pith. That pith is very bitter. I avoid that in every single thing I cook. And that's it. That's about the quantity for one lemon. That guy looks pretty good there. Okay, let's mix it up now. In goes our lemon juice, our lemon zest. So now we're gonna add in our powdered sugar and our cream, but we're gonna alternate each. It's a little bit at a time until it gets all beautiful and frothy and light. And we'll go a little higher on that steam. It goes faster that way. Then towards the end, let's add that teaspoon of vanilla. So all natural. It's quite a white color, mm, but delicious. But just for the artist in me, I'm gonna spike it up with some yellow food coloring. Okay, three drops, let's see what that does. Yeah. Looks a little bit more like those lemons on that tree. Done. Those cupcakes are ready, let's take them out. It's been 18 minutes at 375 in our oven. Let's check them. Okay, I take my toothpick and I go into a fatty. Let's see. Yep, he came out clean. They're done. Now these cupcakes have to thoroughly cool before we put the frosting on. Otherwise that frosting is gonna melt all the way down the sides. That frosting turned out great. So we are ready to frost our cupcakes. They are now cooled. 
So I am so excited to try these because not only is the batter a light cupcake batter, but with that lemon zest in it, this fresh lemon juice and zest in this frosting is killer. Now I put just a little bit of that whipped cream on top and that's my homemade whipped cream recipe. So you can find it on my channel. Isn't that the cutest? So let's continue frosting these. And what I like about this recipe is you can make it at home and it is as gourmet as any fancy cupcake shop anywhere in America. And the key is that you've used that fresh lemon. So, I mean, that's really when it's worth it to do that. And forget about the convenience because it just took me really 60 seconds to do all that stuff with my lemon. And I get so much out of that extra step. See, that's what I'm talking. Okay, now this one's for me. Let's try it. Take off the little wrapper. Look at him, yummy. Mmm, <laughs> oh my gosh. That is totally killer. That batter is perfect and light and a little zesty. And that topping is great. And that whipped cream on top of that topping it just brings down that tartness of the lemon perfectly. So let's cook some more and tell me what you think. Give me your comments and like me and share me. I know you have friends that like to cook. Cheers. <laughs>